of the things that I would like us to do is involve the Aboriginal population of Canada to get into dialogue with Aboriginal groups across the country, uh, across the world. The 2010 Olympics, Vanock and the IOC, in partnership with Canada, is trying to create a false illusion. They're creating a false illusion that Canada is good and has positive relations with our people. But we are here to break this illusion, to tell the truth, by declaring the following. We are not Canadian. We are not a defeated people. This land was never surrendered. Our nations and our people still exist and will continue to exist. About how to create uh, frameworks of accountability so that when mining development occurs in Aboriginal areas, it does so in a way that's environmentally sustainable and respectful of Aboriginal rights and, uh, and basic human rights. And this is, I think, the next frontier of Canadians' engagement overseas. We don't think of ourselves as a country that is a big global economic power, but we are. And if we are an economic power overseas, our power must be accountable overseas as power should be accountable at home. One of the elders, Harriet Nahaney, was defending that area from being blasted out for this highway. And she, she stood there and she blocked, the, blocked that development, but she was arrested and she was, her, she was 73 years old, Pachidat grandmother. She was arrested and she was given a 14-day sentence and she served 11 days and she got really sick in jail. It was, it's a men's prison that they put her in. And she got sick and she, when she got out, she, she had to go. She was in critical condition in the hospital and she ended up passing away. But her last words were like, never give up the fight always, always continue to fight for your land. And um, she ended up dying. You know, when we, we say that Canada and the Olympics are the ones that murdered her, because they're the ones that sent her to jail. They didn't have to send her to jail, but they wanted to make an example that if any people stand up and fight for rights, for Native rights, or fight against the Olympics, that they're going to do jail time. And right after that, her friend, a 78-year-old non-native woman, was sentenced to 10 months in jail. She's 78 years old grandmother. So the, these are the type of things that you know need to be exposed about the Canadian government. Al Qaeda blow up a plane and kill innocent civilians. Saddam Hussein that he was a murderous tyrant, poison gas, torture, and devastation. Saddam Hussein was a murderous tyrant. Eight hundred thousand people were chopped into small pieces. Blow up innocent civilians. I just believe very strongly, and I learned this in in Bosnia during the nineties when I got shot at. What I saw was so searing, so revolting, so terrible that I just thought we had to get rid of them any way we could. That's the straight-up answer as to why I supported the Iraq war. It's the third time I've said that. I'll probably say it three more times, see? In my line of work, you've got to keep repeating things over and over and over again for the truth to sink in, to kind of catapult the propaganda.